Hi, I'm Joe Fitzpatrick for Understand Photography. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add a signature, graphic, or copyright notice to your images. Let's get started. First, at the top left of the screen, click on Edit, then click on Edit Watermarks. As I already mentioned, there are two different styles of watermark you can choose. You can add your graphic, and that has to be in either the JPEG or the PNG format. With the PNG format, you can have parts of the graphic transparent. With the JPEG, the entire graphic is solid. There are no transparencies. With a, with a text watermark, you can choose any of the various fonts that your system has. First, let's look at how you do a graphic watermark. Click on Graphic. The folder will open and navigate to where your graphic is located. Select it and click Choose. You can now see the graphic in the lower left-hand corner of your image. Scroll down and you can control the opacity of the watermark, its size by checking proportional and then moving the slider to set the size that you want. I'm going to choose about 10 which keeps it fairly small. You also have a choice of fit or fill. We'll stick with proportional. You can also inset the watermark from the edges of the image, both horizontally and vertically. You can also determine whether the graphic will be at the lower left where it is now, the lower right, or any of the other positions you see in the anchor point. Once you're happy with the watermark, click on Save. The dialog box will open up. You can give the watermark a title and click on Create. I'm going to click Cancel because I want to show you how to create a text-based watermark. To create a text-based signature or watermark, click on Text for the watermark style, then select the font you want. Their selections here will vary based on your operating system and the programs that you have installed. I like to use something in a script-based font. For this demonstration, I'm going to click on Brush Script MT. That determines the font, then you can determine the style, uh, whether it's regular, bold, italic, bold, italic. Again, the choices here will, li will be limited based on whatever font and uh, operating system you have. You can choose a left alignment, a right alignment, or center alignment. You can choose the color, click on color, and then you can choose whatever color you want uh, to get to see the various actual colors rather than just grayscale. Click and drag this down just a little bit, and then you can click here and drag this up to see the variety and intensity of colors. Move the dropper around to get the style you want. Let's say we choose something in a, uh, a yellow. As you can see, as I move this, it's showing on the side. For this demonstration, though, I'm just going to stick with a plain white one. So I'll click on white, and I'll click on close for selecting the color. Next, you can choose whether or not you want the signature to have a drop shadow behind it. If you want to drop shadow, make sure you've checked the box next to the word shadow, and then you can determine the opacity of the shadow, the offset, the radius, and the angle. You can play around with these while you look at the signature in the image to get a general idea of what you'll get from it. Generally, I don't put a drop shadow on any of my. Next, we want to scroll down to the watermark effects. There we determine the opacity of the watermark. You can vary it to any opacity you want, and you can watch in the screen as you do it to see exactly what it is. Proportional allows you to vary the size of the text in relation to the image. So you can set the size you like, and then as you make your images later, that relationship between the size of the text and the size of the image will be maintained as a constant. You can also check fit to have the copyright notice or signature fit on the image or fill. 
For this case, we're going to select proportional, and I'll make it about a 10. Next, we have inset. Inset determines the offset of the signature from the edges of the image. You can select a horizontal inset and a vertical inset to position it exactly where you want. Anchor determines where in the image it will be. Right now, the lower right-hand corner is checked. I could put it in the upper left, in the middle, anywhere I choose. We'll leave it at lower right. Next, type in the words that you want in the signature or watermark in the box. Then click on Save. The title will come up and you can give it a name and click on create. That's all there is to it. That creates the signature or watermark. Next, I'll show you how to actually use it when you export your images. You can apply the watermark preset you created during the export process. First, select the image or images you want to export. Click on export. Then follow through by making whatever selections you want on the various items in the export dialog. When you get down to watermarking, check watermark. If you have more than one watermark, select the one you want, and then just click on export. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can check out our other tutorials and quick tips and watch our weekly show on our website, understandphotography.com. Thanks for watching.